Hello folks and welcome back. On this episode we're going to show you our RV trip planning and the programs that we use to plan our trips and figure out where we're going to stay whether it's camping or boondocking and also the uh, attractions that we want to go see and we'll touch on how we track our weather. All right, well, let's go ahead and get started here. The uh, first website that we're going to go to, and here again, these websites are not in any specific order. I do will tell you the ones we use a lot, the ones we don't use a lot. Uh, but normally when I'm planning, I'll actually have them all up in different tabs and just keep going back and forth between them. But the first one we're going to look at here is called Harvest Host. It is a membership. You do have to pay once a year to become a member. Uh, but the nice thing about it is it gives you wineries, farms, attractions. If you buy the membership, golf courses, which I don't have, breweries and distilleries that you can stay at for free on your travels. And they're all over. Uh, to give you an example here, let's go to uh, the first place we're going to go. We're going to do this upcoming trip to the North Carolina mountains. So we'll pick North Carolina here. And you can see it brings up and it shows you a group area first. But then when we go out to the mountains here, you can see that you've got a farm up here called Jewel of Blue Ridge Vineyard and Muscadine Nursery. And if you click on it, it gives you all the information about it. Uh, it gives you the pictures on it. It tells you uh, how to request a stay. It tells you about the farm, uh, when they're open, when they, you know, when they're not open tells you what they allow like pets Wi-Fi you know slide outs gives you any amenities that they have on the area gives you directions and parking actually gives you a map and then uh, you get reviews down here from people that actually stayed there which is beneficial because you get like this one's two weeks ago and it give you an idea of, of what the area is like uh, let's see let's look at another one here uh, here's a Let's go find a winery here. All right, here's a winery here, uh, Stardust Cellars. And here again, gives you the same thing of how to request and all the same information, how many parking spaces they've got, what's available. It's a, it's a good, uh, good way to do it. Some of these harvest hosts even have electricity. The next website we're gonna go look at is going to be uh, Boondockers Welcome, which I'm not a member of Boondockers Welcome yet, uh, they just got bought by Harvest Host, and the thing about Boondockers Welcome is they, they're more individuals that have sites, you know, where you can park on their land. Uh, let's go look at North Carolina here again and see what's available up in the mountains of North Carolina. Uh, you can see, like, uh, here's one right here up near Boone, and you can see this is their, their private property, and... Uh, they allow pretty much anything and it gives you their house rules you know what they expect uh, tells you about the land and there's also reviews on here um, now just so you know when you go use a boondockers welcome or a harvest host uh, they're the host that's sponsoring you and allowing you to stay there is also going to rate you so if you're uh, get there and you do things you shouldn't do or you're not a good guest they will rate you and boondockers welcome and harvest host will uh, kick you out of the program if they get too many complaints on you so it works both ways so it gives a good place to go stay uh, nice safe places to go stay and you know that that you're going to be treated right and they just ask you to be respectful and treat them right and harvest host when i stay at those places i use like if i'm at a winery i usually try to buy some wine I mean, they're nice enough to let you stay there. Well, might as well go use their stuff and uh, help them generate an income. The next place that we'll go to is, I use this a lot, okay? I am a Good Sam's member. I've been a Good Sam's member since I started. And the nice thing about Good Sam's is they've got this RV trip planner. And you can come in here and, and click on trip planner and like uh, I just put this one in earlier so we'd have something to show. I've got from Yulee to Boone, North Carolina. And you'll see it actually gives you the road routes that you need to go up that way. You can put in your uh, campgrounds. You can either do just Good Sam's. 
and it'll show you all the good SAMs on your route. Uh, you can do private campgrounds, it'll show you all of those. Or you can do public campgrounds and it shows you all of those. And uh, once you do uh, select that and you go select one, you'll see it gives you the information on it. You can come down here, it gives you ratings on it. And then when you click on more information, it takes you over here. It gives you uh, pictures and all of that, uh, where it's at, all the information, it gives you the rates and uh, basically everything they have in the uh, campground. I like it a lot because it, it allows me to route a trip and then I can download this route to my GPS and use it. If you use the app on your phone, you can, you know, if you plan a trip here on your computer, you can save it to your phone and that way you can use your phone's built-in GPS to actually route you to where you want to go. Another one that I use, uh, I am a KOA member. I do like KOA. I've always been treated good at KOA. Uh, sometimes they can be a little expensive, but you know, it's the old adage, you get what you pay for. But like in this case, we'll put in Boone, North Carolina again, and we're just gonna select North Carolina and hit fine. And it brings up the entire state of North Carolina, Virginia, and South Carolina. And then you just zoom into the area that you wanted to uh, go to. And in this case, we'll uh, zoom into Boone here. And we'll click on that campground and you'll see when you bring it up, it gives you pictures on it, it gives you ratings on it, all of the amenities, everything that they have. And the nice thing about uh, the KOA app is I can, if I'm using the app on my phone or my iPad, I can make a reservation right then and there and I know I'm covered. So if I'm traveling and I have to uh, change my plans due to weather, uh, like the last trip we did, we had to change our plans in the middle of the, of, uh, the Rocky Mountains in Colorado because of snow, uh, but I was able to go onto the KOA app and find me a campground that, and you know select it and get a reservation right away so I knew I could change my plans. The next one that we use is called RV Parky, and I love this one because here again, uh, you can put in where you want to start, where you want to stop. You can add as many points along the way as you want to. Uh, you tell it how many nights that you're going to be staying there. You put in your fuel prices and what your average fuel mileage is on the vehicle you're driving, and it'll give you a rough estimate of how much it's going to cost you in gas to do that trip. Uh, the other nice thing about this is it shows you along the way you can find uh, sites that you want to see along the way. Uh, you can find um, you know, interesting things that you want to do along the way. And then also you can come in here and it'll give you uh, places that you want to uh, stay, you know, campgrounds and all that. It'll list those in here also. The next program that we use is going to be uh, Road Trippers. Uh, here again, I like Road Trippers uh, for the same reason. You can come in here and you can plan a trip and we'll put in uh, where we're starting here and we'll do Yuli again and then we'll put in uh, Boone, North Carolina again. And the nice thing about Road Trippers, it's not really set up for, uh, this is more to give you interesting stuff along the way. You'll see it give me a route here of where it's, of how to get up to Boone. And then I come in here and I can look at attractions and experiences and it'll show me attractions and experiences along the way, all right? Uh, I can come in here and I can look at outdoor recreation along the way and it'll give me all the outdoor recreation along the way. I can come here and it gives me bars and restaurants and puts those in there. Uh, campsites, uh, sites and landmarks so, uh, along the way. It gives me entertainment, nightlife, auto and RV services. Uh, it gives me shopping along the way and gives me tourist and travel information. So it's a good way to find interesting things off the beaten path to go look at while you're traveling. And um, it's I like it a lot. I've used it a lot. We've found a lot of stuff that 
I never knew existed just off of this program. The next program we're going to look at is going to be U.S. Military Campgrounds. It's militarycampgrounds.us. Uh, if you're retired military or you're uh, active duty military or even cer certain government jobs, uh, you can stay at the military campgrounds, which are nice. Uh, we use them a lot. They're excellent. Uh, they've got good reviews on here. You can see them popping up on the left over here. And, it, you know, it's we've stayed in several military campgrounds when I use this program uh, specifically to find them. If you come up here to the top, you can do a U.S. map, which lists the uh, military campgrounds in your area that you're going to. Like if I zoom in here, uh, like, like we'll pick this one right here. That's uh, Water Tree Recreation Area in South Carolina. You can see it's got four and a half stars. You click on it. It takes it to you. You see it's the Air Force. It tells you on here who's eligible to use it. And it tells you exactly where it's at, what's available, what they have there. And they give you pictures of the uh, actual campground so you can see what it looks like before you get there. The next program we use after that is going to be uh, free camping. I don't use this a whole lot, but I do use it a little bit. Uh, to give you an idea, uh, it's uh, last time I used it here. I was looking in Texas, so this is down in the uh, uh, western portion of Texas, and you'll see there, there are different highlights. Everything that is green is free, the red is pay, and the blue is by permit only. And this gives you things like uh, the rest, bound, uh, rest area eastbound. Right, down here on this one, this is uh, uh, Madera Canyon Loop roadside park in Fort Davis. So this gives you free places that you can boondock overnight if you're traveling through this area. The next one I use is going to be a program called Campendium. And here again you can put in where you want to go and it, uh, let me get it typed in here. And when you come in here it gives you campgrounds around, I put in Boone, North Carolina, it gives you different campgrounds around up in here and ratings that they have from reviewers on those. Uh, like if we go to this one, it has, uh, you know, the overall ratings, uh, like this person said, not going back. So, but you know, it's fantastic stay. So, and you, it's just another place to go look at these campgrounds and try to find out where you want to go. And then the, uh, uh, another one we use here is going to be campground reviews and here again you can click on uh, the state that you want to go look at and it lists all the campgrounds and then you can zoom into the area that you want to uh, look at and here again like I said I just use different ones to go look at everything the primary ones I use are going to be uh, Harvest Host, Good Sam's, KOA, RV Parky, Road Trippers, and U.S. Military that's the main ones I use. All these others are extras. Now, one that you I haven't talked about yet that I do use depending on where I'm going is recreation.gov, which is your uh, for your federal campgrounds, for your national parks and all. And to give you an idea, let's go zoom into North Carolina here. I right, see and uh, so like here's uh, uh, Lennon Falls Campground. There's 66 sites. Gives you all the details on it. And this is where you go to actually find where you want to reserve and how you want to set up for the night. And it tells you everything that's available. So this is where you're going to go for all your national park campgrounds. Another one that I do use a lot is Bureau of Land Management, which it's blm.gov. And it's Bureau of Land Management. You want to come here to visit and go down to camping and it gives you uh, the places where you can go uh, the states where there's camping actually available on the Bureau of Land Management um, and like when you come in here to where to camp let's see we'll do Arizona search and then it lists all of the places in Arizona that you can camp on Bureau of Land Management land which most of them are free 
and you can stay up to 14 days. But you got to remember, they're all boondocking. You have to be totally self-contained to be able to use these. And that's pretty much it for the actual programs that we use. And all of these programs you can either access through your uh, smartphone or iPad on the internet, but a large percentage of them actually have apps that you can use to go download and then do the exact same things. And some of them even have more options on the apps than they do on the web page. The other question I get a lot about is how we track our weather. Uh, the two main programs I use for weather are going to be Weatherbug. Uh, I do like how it's set up, how it does things for me. I can get 10 days here. I can get uh, radars for the area. I mean, and you can you know you can zoom out for the uh, the entire you know a whole area here that you can see what the weather is going to do. So you know if you're traveling from you know, down here up to here, you can see right now it should be a clear drive all day. Another program I use for weather is the actual National Weather Service. And then the final thing I use, and I'll show you a picture in just a minute, is in the vehicle we've got, the Jeep we've got, it's got an actual radar, satellite downloaded radar in the vehicle so I can look at radar as I'm actually driving. And I've used that a lot. This is a program in the vehicle, it's built in and it's a radar we can do uh, storm fronts you can see I can zoom out to the entire US and look at the radar for the entire US and I've used this extensively as I'm traveling all right with that being said we appreciate you watching we hope you've enjoyed we hope this helps you out with your travel planning and we'll see you on the next trip